I was buying a shed, um, I'd bought it and it came and the base wasn't stable enough. So they took it away and I made the base. And then on making the base, I went, well, I got creative and decided to make the shed. So everyone just needs a shed. Uh, I get that for just storage and things like that, but you can still make it interesting. So initially I've made the shed, I've done a mosaic, which took considerably longer than I thought it would take. Um, I've done a lot of screws on the wall like that. And that does two things. One, it just makes it a bit more interesting. So in this case, I've done it like the silhouette of a tree. And you can see all the spiders and things are nested in it. So it's also, again, making it so it can be used as habitat. But um, my main feature that I like with the shed is this. So this was the first bug wall. This is where it all began. So I made, made the shed shed wall and it was just a plain wall which is fine but I wanted it to be more interesting so these are basically shelves about that deep of wood so imagine I've made a shelving unit in front of the shed and then all I do I fill it with bits of stuff so you've got um, old pots there pine cones logs uh, if you come in close as well these are these are good examples here so where I've drilled all these holes into these wood see how it's sealed there with mud so we've got solitary bees living in there. Uh, they've also gone in some, so right here there, if you see that one, that did, would have had a bee in it, but you can see it's hatched now. So we're getting bees coming and going on there, which is good. And again, it looks nice too. That's the other feature. I don't want to just make things which are good for wildlife. I want it to look good too. And I, I, I think it achieves that. Now, water is something that, particularly in the UK, we, we regularly take for granted because we have lots of it. But if you try and imagine to save every bit of water, not only is that a good thing to do for the environment, it also is good for your creativity too. So we've got the shed roof, which you've seen before, and the water flows off there. You can see the edge there. And initially I didn't have a gutter, um, which was fine. It was just dripping off. But if you make it, if I put a gutter in, it gives you a lot more control over things you can do. So I put the gutter in, and then I made these. Now these are just down pipes and all you do, it's a square pipe, and all you do to make these is you cut about halfway through, so you cut from the front corner to the middle corner. And then using something like um, a paint stripper gun, anything like that, you just heat it up a bit. Not so hot that it gets too hot to touch, but just so it's pliable and then you bend it. And nearly straight away after bending it, it'll, it'll solidify. So then you've got this shape. So all you do then is in this top section, put some fat gravel in the first bit. So I'll clear, put some fat gravel in that bit just to block the hole at the back. Then put some light gravel and then fill it with soil. And in this case, I've made it as a herb garden. And it's really good because you can label the herbs. I don't think the labels are in sync anymore. And chives have done the best because it's quite shaded. So what happens is we get rain, it comes into the gutter, it then slowly trickles down and if that isn't every bit of water caught, we've then got, so between this one and this one, I've connected a plastic tube, plastic gutter, and I believe it's called a French drain. And all it is, you get the, you get the tube, you drill loads of holes into it, loads of little holes, and then you fill it with gravel. And what that's doing, that's doing two things. One, it's slowing down the water, but by connecting it on the bottom here, it's also giving strength to these pipes. So that's holding it all together, and they'll be working together and all of this water any water will then be slowly released here and that will water this area of this garden so every drop is used and if you try and do that for everything then um well yeah it just it's just a good way of being creative making the best and what would otherwise have just been wasted is now uh, being used for a purpose <laughs>